Thanks, Kyle. Now, while all eyes are on the incoming major hurricane in Florida, millions of people are still reeling from Hurricane Helene, and relief efforts are still underway, including right here in the QCA. TV6's Caleb Page joins us now from the Scott County, Patro Scott County Sheriff Patrol Headquarters in Eldridge. And Kayla, what efforts are currently underway there? Yeah, good morning, Kyle. Efforts are certainly underway here. The trailer is full. You're going to be able to see it in just a moment over here, but they are ready to head out and get on the road, headed to Asheville, North Carolina, one of those areas impacted the hardest by this hurricane. And I'm going to speak right here, speaking with president of the Scott County Share Preserves, Rich Alexiasik. And Rich, tell me more about the money specifically that you all raised. Um, it was a really large amount. Y yes, yes. Over the last three days, we've probably raised over $10,000 that we're going to take down there and distribute to uh, just uh, as many distribution centers as that we can get to before we run out of that out of that cash. Okay, and you're telling more about the process as well. You're saying how like you're gonna just take this uh, check right here, write a month on it, you can donate it to a fire department, just keep on moving on and on and on. Tell me why just spreading across the, the, um, that area is important. Well, the, with this check, we're like I, like you said, we're gonna write an amount on it, uh, give it to a local fire department or maybe to uh, an emergency situation down there, and then move on to another uh, area of that uh, community down there. Awesome. Okay, and then so about the uh, trip itself when it comes to re providing relief, you had mentioned earlier off camera that, you know, taking, giving the officers and first responders that are there, giving them a break is very important to you all. You know, you said they've been working very long hours. Kind of elaborate more on why it's important for you all to kind of make that effort as well. Sure. So we're all going down there. We're going to be in uniform. We'll be, uh, we're certified law enforcement officers. We're going to be able to maybe give a relief point at a checkpoint, give them a relief for four or five, six hours so they can go spend time with their family. They're working 16, 18 hours days straight down there. So if we can give somebody or several officers a break for a few hours, we'd be happy to do that. Absolutely. And that would be a wonderful opportunity. Perfect. And then so tell me more about this. Like this is um, amazing to look at when you look at all of these items. Tell me more about the donations that came in, where they came from, um, how you know, the collaboration with Hy-Vee happens. Tell me more about that. Sure. With Hy-Vee, Hy-Vee just offered their parking lot to us. Uh, we didn't ask Hy-Vee for any donations, so none of this came from directly from Hy-Vee. This came from all just the general public, people just going in, shopping. Uh, we gave them like a little short list of what we needed, so they came back with toilet paper and diapers and wet wipes and water. Um, so this is all from the general public of the Quad Cities in Davenport here. Okay, and then tell me when you all plan on coming back and just how long you all plan on being there. Well, at this point, we plan on coming back by the uh, by the start of the weekend. So we're just not sure how that's going to pan out. But we'll be, there, we'll be there for a couple of days at least. Okay, perfect. Awesome. We wish you all safe travels. Hope it has a really good, uh, wonderful and um, providing experience for them as well. So thank you so much for joining me this morning. Thank you. Again, to Live on the Airwich, again, those officers that will be heading out here very shortly, getting on the road to Eldridge to provide that relief to those Hurricane Helene victims. Uh, and Live in Eldridge, Eldridge, Kayla Page, TV6 News. All right. Thank you so much, Kayla. Thank you, Kayla. And we, of course, we wish safe travels to the Scott County Sheriff Reserves as they head on their way at 6 a.m. in just about nine minutes this morning.